Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another ChemCast uh, edition here. Uh, this is how to write the simplest formulas uh, to start off with. So this is really about nomenclature. If you're given a name, write a formula, or if you're given a formula, write a name. Please get out some notes. Make sure to write this down. And if you have any questions, um, make sure to stop at points and, and um, write down your questions as well. We'll get those in class. So the first thing we'll have to do is say, given a formula, write the proper chemical name of it. The other thing that we're going to do is to say, given the name, write the for formula, and that's the one we're going to start with now. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, there are really five main points. Uh, so first of all, number one, um, we will only start with the simplest compounds. They're called binary compounds, and that means binary means they only have two elements in them, a metal and a non-metal. Now, there might be a lot of metals and a lot of non-metals, but there only will be two specific elements in the compounds we'll be dealing with right now. Of the metals, if you're trying to put these together in the right formula, you'll need to know what the charges are. Uh, the metals will always have some type of positive charge, plus one, plus two, plus three. We call those cations. The non-metals will always come second and have a negative charge. We call those anions. It could be negative one, negative two, negative three, or so on. Um, and the periodic table will tell you, in this case, what those charges are. Anything over here in group one is going to be a metal with a plus one charge. Group two will be a metal with a plus two charge. Um, there are a couple of exceptions which you'll need to write down. Uh, silver is plus one always, cadmium plus two, zinc is plus two, and aluminum is plus three. The metals over here, uh, in these, I'm sorry, the non-metals over here uh, like to be negative. Generally in the nitrogen family, these all like to be negative three. The oxygen family likes to be negative two, and generally all of the halogens, starting with fluorine, like to be negative one. Good news, noble gases, we don't have to worry about those. Okay. Um, the third point uh, is that metals, to name a metal, you just put down the name you see on the periodic table. For the non-metal, you just put down the name of the element, but change the ending to I-D-E. So for instance, we call sodium chloride, not sodium chlorine. Okay, so, and you'll see uh, that we'll be able to do some practice and examples with those. The fourth point is we use these things when we're putting together the formulas called subscripts. These tell us how much we have of each atom. If you don't see a subscript, that means there's the number one there. They always come after the element and they're on the bottom. They're not exponents. And they, they don't they aren't big numbers in front either. So as an example, calcium fluoride. Uh, over here, there's no number in front of this calcium right here, so the calcium is, there's just one calcium atom in calcium fluoride, or in the formula unit. This two right here uh, means, the subscript means that there are two fluorides, and if we find those on the periodic table, look at the charges, lo and behold, uh, calcium is a plus two, fluoride is a negative one, and there's two of those, and this leads to really the next rule, that whenever we're trying to write the formulas given the names, all of the charges that we have have to add up to be zero, and uh, we always want the lowest ratio of atoms. So let's use the calcium fluoride again. Um, okay, we know that based on our periodic table, calcium is in the second group, alkali metal, uh, alkali metal group at the plus two. Fluoride is a halogen, likes to be negative one. If I just have one calcium for one fluoride, the charges don't add, add up to be zero. Uh, so I need one more fluoride to cancel out the calcium, uh, and that means I need two of these for every one of those, and again, that's how we get the subscript, one calcium, two fluoride. So let, let's try some. First thing that we'll do is look at strontium bromide, okay? Strontium bromide, find it on the periodic table. Again, metals come first. I look over here. Strontium really likes to be a plus two, okay? So we're going to write that down as plus two. Bromide, 
is uh, the nonmetal. It'll be somewhere over here. The bromide is negative one. It's a halogen. So if we look at this, and uh, strontium is plus two. Bromide is negative one. I, that doesn't have to be zero. So I need another bromine. Now the charge is equal zero. So to write it, I need one strontium, two bromines, and there's the final answer. One strontium, two br bromines. There's my subscript two. I didn't have to put a one here because ones are always assumed. Um, we never put the charges in the final formula. That's a common mistake that often occurs. So let's take a look now at uh, another one is magnesium oxide. Again, magnesium is the metal. Hey, look, it's right here on our periodic table. It has a plus two charge. Oxide is over here, non metal. It has a negative two charge. If we put those two together, as is, we'll find out that, hey, look, plus two comes first, negative two comes second. They already cancel each other out. And if they add up to zero already, it's just magnesium oxide. That's all there is to it. Okay, stop the video right now. Write these on your paper. This is going to be an assignment. Given these six names, you write down the names, look at your periodic table, and come up with the formulas. Okay, time for formulas to names. These are really easy. All you need is your periodic table. Um, we'll start with the simplest ones. Uh, just look for the symbols on the periodic table. You find the elements. The first element is just the name of that element as written on your periodic table. The second element is going to be the name of that element with the ID ending. That's all there is to it. So as an example, here is BAI2. If we look on our periodic table, there's BA. It's the element barium. I is over here. This is the element iodine. So it's, instead of saying barium iodine, it's actually barium iodide. Okay, so at this time, what I'd like you to do is to please write these down. Given these names, I'm sorry, these formulas, please provide the six names. Thank you very much. Have a great day.